This is a quick demonstration of how to do the all at once uh, ESC calibration. So what I have here is my uh, somewhat elderly 3DR quad and uh, I have an APM of course in here. Uh, safety first, you'll notice that the uh, APM is not connected to my computer. Uh, the LiPo battery is disconnected and there's no propellers on the copper. First part of the process is to turn on your transmitter raise the throttle to full, then plug in your LiPo battery. You should see the lights on the APM here start cycling through the blue, yellow, and red lights. The yellow one is quite hard to see, but it is actually cycling through all three. Uh, what you've just done at this point is that you've told the APM that the next time you plug it in, you want to do ESC calibration. Okay, so next I unplug the LiPo battery and then still with the throttle at, at full, plug it in again. So there's the first three beeps saying that I have a 3S. And then two more beeps. At that point, I push the throttle low and I get one long beep, which means that the ESC calibration has been completed. Now if I actually, so basically we're done the calibration. If I uh, raise the throttle, you'll actually see that the, the motors do move. Uh, this is because, um, in fact, all the uh, you know input coming from my TX into the uh, APM is just being sent straight out to the uh, to the ESCs. We're not in any kind of you know stabilization mode or anything like that. So uh, you can see that the light pattern is uh, flashing back and forth between blue and red. So it's not in its regular flight mode yet. If you want to return it to you know a state where you can actually fly, you need to make sure your throttle is low, disconnect. The lipo battery, reconnect it, and then you'll see it'll be back in its regular normal state with the regular, you know, red and blue flashing lights indicating that everything is normal again. That's it.